Welcome to the Land of House. I'm Seth. This is my personal ram pump. It's been out here in the creek for about three years. And I ran it this year for about a month and then suddenly it stopped. So let me show you what it's doing and we will troubleshoot what's going on and get it fixed up. So you can see the water is coming to the pump just fine and there's no air in the drive pipe. So if I've got the delivery closed off, that basically lets me know that there is not an issue with back pressure. So it should start on its own here and watch this. The air level inside of my clear pressure tank goes up when it cycles and then it goes back down. So what's happening is a leak and I'm assuming it is in this inline valve here. So water is gonna go in here, fill the tank and then there's something stuck in here letting water seep back this way. So we're going to take this out of the creek and hopefully remove this valve and find out if it's got some debris stuck in there. This thing has been in here for so long, it is really locked down in there. So I may just have to get the debris out of here and see if I can find my support board and unscrew it from there. Let's see what I can find here. Aha, there we go. I got it out. All right, if I can get this union to unscrew here, then we can pull this out of the creek. Managed to get the pump out of the water. Had to go back up and get some channel locks. My screws that I used are uh, drywall screws. I may not be able to get them off of here. There we go, there's one. What about this side? I think I'm gonna replace those with some deck screws. Three years underwater and there's not much left of those sheetrock screws. That's crazy. So yeah, I'll be using uh, just some deck screws and maybe they'll last a good three years or so. All right, well, my assumption is something is stuck in this valve or after three years, it has developed a crack or who knows? Let's go ahead and get into this thing and see what we can find. Ugh. Maybe not the best place to work on it, but let's see what we got here. So you saw how the water was going up and then back down in the pressure tank. I know it'll be hard for you to see that going on with a regular clear uh, tank there, but that is usually a good sign that uh, this valve has gone bad or uh, most commonly just has something stuck in it. So let's go ahead and get this other side off and we'll see if we can find something that is stuck in there. Aha, if I blow backwards into this thing, it's letting something through. So let's see if we can flush it real quick and if it'll keep doing that. Just got a garden hose. I'm gonna see if I can do something with it here. Definitely letting water through. It would seem as though our valve has just gone bad. I've let this thing freeze for three winters now. And uh, I don't know if maybe this the seal is off of it or what but it's letting some air through. So let's just put a new valve on and we should be good to go. All right, with this valve, I blow in there, nothing comes out. So it's a good new one. So that was our problem. I'm pretty much 100% sure. One thing that can help to avoid this kind of problem is to totally drain and remove your pump in the winter time. I just let this thing sit for three years 
whenever I wasn't using it. I do have ram pumps for sale at landahouse.com. They won't have this stainless steel valve. They'll have the brass valve, which actually we found out works better because this one is so heavy, it limits your situation where you can use it. All right, let's put this back on our support board here. I think I'm gonna get some new plumber's strap because this one is quite rusted. I've been asked by a few people, what is the anticipated longevity of the ram pump? And honestly, if you treat it like I do here, four years, if you uh, treat it better than I do, which wouldn't take much, uh, you can get these things several more years. I have customers from six and seven years ago still using their pumps. And uh, the key is to keep them out of the sun as much as you can, and then also to uh, bring them in in the winter time, or at least drain the water out. Whenever you keep the water uh, in there, it really does reduce the life because of freezing issues. Okay, that should get us back up and running. Let's take this down to the creek, get it reinstalled, and I'm thinking we will see water pumped back up the hill. So the ram pump cycles about once per second. The longest I ever had this running was six months straight. So you think about it, that is approximately 15 million cycles that this pump went through that first year. And so after that, I typically run it for about three or four months out of the year. So I'm gonna just assume this thing, the valve we just replaced has cycled about 45 million times. So if you consider that, it's done pretty good. I don't know what they're rated for, but that is certainly a high number of cycles. Okay, we should be good now. Go ahead and close this tank valve. Open the drive pipe. Okay, I've got to fill this tank real quick with water. Take this a few times. All right, that should be good enough. Open this back up. Water surges out and goes back up the hill. This may stop while I cycle this a few more times here. Okay, and there we go, cycling on its own. So as it pumps, water is going to build up in here a little bit, probably to about right up here. And uh, it's just pushing water up the hill currently. <laughs> I think what's happening is I need to uh, go close a valve at the garden. There we go. Basically the water was going up from the ram pump in the creek, way up the hill, top of up here, coming back down, coming around, and going to my little sprinkler over here. And that was preventing the ram pump from cycling as it should. So, we are good to go now. Okay, that's all. A very short video just showing you that sometimes when parts go bad, specifically the inline valve, it will not let the pump build pressure in the tank because the water gets pushed in there and then right back out into the waste valve. So if your pump is operating like that and the pump is newer than mine, then it's worth taking that off, blow in into it, see if it's going to push air the opposite way of the flow. If it does, look for a small rock or a leaf or something in there that will prevent it from flowing. I've had just a tiny piece, almost a piece of sand holding that valve open. So um, flushing it out with water usually will clean it out. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.